What is an enterprise anyway? Ask half a dozen architects what an enterprise is and you will get eight different answers. Most answers are wrong, fuzzy, vague, confusing, contradictory, or useless. Few agree on a common answer. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of an enterprise? Yeah, maybe it's the Star Trek enterprise. But the second thing is usually a business. For all of you architects who are Star Trek fans, focus people, focus. We're talking about the second one here. Okay, good. What's an enterprise? In this video, I'll give you another perspective and propose yet another useless definition for an enterprise to add to the eight to make it nine. But first, be sure to subscribe to this channel for AI and architecture videos that I publish every other week. An enterprise has many things that I'll call entities since that just sounds more like I know what I'm talking about. So these entities are supposed to work together to do something useful. If you had a profit making product enterprise, then you can imagine that it uses people, processes, technology, capabilities, raw material, money, and other things to make products and sell them to customers for a profit. The enterprise probably also works with suppliers, partners, the government, and other entities to deliver the value that it's supposed to. So entities are inside the enterprise and also outside the enterprise. You can think of these outside entities as black boxes. In other words, you don't really care much about what they do to help the enterprise as long as they somehow contribute to the outcome the enterprise is trying to produce. Sometimes black box modeling is not good. In 2011, Tommy Hilfiger worked with a supplier factory in Bangladesh. Since TH treated them like a black box, they didn't really look into the miserable working conditions. One day, a fire broke out and 29 people died because the walls were high, the doors were locked, and there were no fire escapes or sprinklers. Sometimes black box modeling is good. You can't possibly model everything about every part of the supply chain. That's just too much with little value to show for it. Here are a few variations of the basic concept of the enterprise. A burglar who breaks into homes is also an enterprise. He uses his skills, mindset, processes, tools, and even external services like Google Maps and Facebooks to rob his victims. A group of people distributed across the world but banded together fighting for a common cause like against a company that is polluting pristine water is an enterprise. The enterprise often changes quickly with new entities appearing and disappearing inside and outside. Here's an example. If Lisa, who is the CEO of the enterprise, has to take her son Max to the baseball game and as a result of that missed an important funding meeting, then Max for that day had become an external entity that affected the enterprise's operations. To define and model the full enterprise, we need to know the why, which is about the intent of each entity, the who, which is about a type of entity that are people, the what, which are the different entities required, the how, which is about the interaction among these entities, the when, which is about the timing of those interactions and the where, which is about the physical location of the entities. So here is a useless definition that I promised I'll share with you. An enterprise is a conceptual organization 
of people and entities which interact with one another at certain times and at certain places with the intent of accomplishing something. That brings the number of definitions to nine. But don't worry about the complex definition. As far as the enterprise goes, at least you can recognize one when you see it. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you.